Hey guys, welcome to another crochet tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to crochet a face mask. I'm going to use this yarn right here. You can choose whatever color you like for your crochet face mask. And I'm going to use this 3mm hook. This is an adult size. To begin in this project, make a slip knot. Round 1, chain 14. 1, 2. I have here a chain of 14. Now in the second chain from the hook, 1, 2. Insert your hook right there. Make one single crochet. Yarn over and pull. Two loops in the hook. Yarn over, pull through two loops. That is our first single crochet. And make one single crochet per stitches all the way down. And then you will have a total of 13 single crochet and here i have a total of 13 single crochet for round two round three i'm going to chain one turn your work around and i'm going to make one single crochet in the back loop only okay insert your hook right there here in the back loop only and not this together but in the back loop only insert your hook yarn over pull and make one single crochet so from this time we are going to be making one single crochet in the back loop only and make one single crochet per stitches all the way down in the back loop only and then you will have a total of 13 single crochet in the back loop only And this is how it look like for our round three in the back loop unless you can see this is our edges here that is the result of our back loops okay round four we're going to chain one turn your work around and in the next six stitches we're going to make one single crochet in the back loop only okay one two, three, four, five, and six. In the next stitch, we are going to make three single crochet in one stitch. We are going to increase this time in round four. Insert your hook and make three single crochet. One, in the same stitch insert your hook two in the same stitch insert your hook and make another single crochet three and this is how it looked like we are increasing in this part right here okay and now in the next six stitches we're going to make one single crochet per stitches one two three four five and six so as you can see we have your six single crochet increasing six single crochet so it is always balanced okay as we go along the next rounds but in round five chain one turn your work around i'm going to make one single crochet per stitches all the way down In the back loop only we're only working here in the back loop only as we are working with single crochet so we have here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve 13 14 and last one 15 we have here a total of 15 single crochet in round five round six we are going to chain one turn your work around and now i'm going to make seven single crochet in the next seven stitches so this time we are increasing in the back loop only okay one two three 
and 7. In the next stitch, we are going to make an increase. 3 single crochet in 1 stitch. 1, 2, and 3. And here in the next 7 stitches, we are going to make 1 single crochet per stitches, total of 7 single crochet. 1, 2, 3, and 7 so this is too much 7 single crochet increase and 7 single crochet in the next 7 stitches to match the other side so your number should always be the same in each of this side right here after making the increase which is 3 single crochet in 1 stitch round 7 chain 1 turn your work around and I'm going to make one single crochet per stitches all the way down. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. And 17. So after this one single crochet per stitches, I'm going to make the increase again. So it is always increase one single crochet per stitches, increase one single crochet per stitches. So you have to find the middle. All you have to do is to count the number of stitches here and the number of stitches right here in the end. So it's always the same number so you have a balance in each of this side so like here i'm going to count one two three four five six seven eight and here in the other side one two three four five six seven eight and there in the middle our number nine in each of the side we're going to increase putting three single crochet in that stitch alone okay so chain one turn your work around last one eight and increase three single crochet in the next stitch one two and last one three and to match the other side we are going to make eight single crochet in the next eight stitches even, even. so we have an even five here three four five and eight and again one single crochet per stitches all the way down round nine we are going to chain one turn your work around making one single crochet per stitches all the way down two three four five six seven eight nine ten 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19 single crochet in total for round 9. And again, I'm going to increase in the next round. Chain 1, turn your work around, and round 10, making increase. So for increasing, we're going to count again 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and in the 10 stitches, we're going to increase, okay? So now in round 10, we're going to make 9 single crochet in the next 9 stitches. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. Now we're going to increase 3 single crochet in 1 stitch. 1, 2, and three and to match the other side we're going to make nine single crochet in the next nine stitches as always so we have an even result and that is for our round 10 round 11 we're going to make one single crochet per stitches chain one and turn 
Make one single crochet per stitches all the way down for our round 11. One, two, three. So in our round 11, we have here a total of 21 single crochet. And now round 12, chain one, turn your work around, and this time we are going to increase. So let's count again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Let's count on the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And in the eleventh stitch, we are going to increase. So make ten single crochet in the next ten stitches. One, two, and ten. I have here ten single crochet in total. Now in the next stitch, we're going to increase three single crochet in one stitch. One, two, and three. And in the next 10 stitches, make one single crochet per stitches. Two, three, and then. And this is how it looks like for our round 12. So we have here a total of 23 stitches or 23 single crochet in round 12. Round 13, chain 1, turn your work around and make 1 single crochet per stitches all the way down and then you will have a total of 23 single crochet for round 13. 2, 3, 4, all the way down. And we have here a total of 23 single crochet in total for our round 13. And this is how it looks like. As you can see, it's growing. It's opening. Now round 14, we're going to chain one, turn your work around, making increase this time. So let's count again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And the other side, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So you can see there is one stitch in the middle left. We are going to increase there so. Now we're going to make 11 single crochet in the next 11 stitches. One, two, all the way into the middle. And now in the next stitch, we're going to increase three single crochet in one stitch. One, two, last one, three. And continue making one single crochet per stitches, total of 11 single crochet. So we are here in round 14 and chain 1, okay? So we have here a total of 25 single crochet in total in round 14. Round 15, chain 1, turn your work around and we are going to make 1 single crochet per stitches all the way down. Total of 25 single crochet. 1, 2, all the way to the end. And here in round 15, I have here a total of 25 single crochet. In round 16, I'm going to repeat round 15. Chain 1, turn your work around, making 1 single crochet per stitches. All the way to the end, a total of 25 single crochet. Okay, so we're going to repeat that all the way to the end. And this is how your work look like. Now in round 17 to round 22, we are going to repeat round 15, making one single crochet per stitches all the way down a total of 25 single crochet in each of this round. And I'm gonna meet you once I am done. And this is how it looks like. Round 23, we are now going to decrease. Chain one, turn your work around and make 11 single crochet in the next 11 stitches, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and last one, 11. So this time we are going to decrease, meaning in three stitches we are going to make into one stitch. Like this, insert your hook in the next stitch, yarn over and pull. Two loops in the hook, insert your hook in the next stitch, 
in the back loop only yarn over and pull three loops in the hook insert your hook in the next stitch yarn over and pull four loops in the hook yarn over and pull through all that four loops in the hook and that is our decreasing three stitches into one stitch as you can see we have here one stitch here and now to match the other side we are going to make 11 single crochet in the next 11 stitches to match here okay one two three four five Last one, 11. We are still working in the back loop only when we are making a single crochet all the time. So that is our first decrease in round 23. This is how it looks like. And likewise, every time you are decreasing, after that you are going to make one single crochet per stitches. So in round 23, we have here a total of 23 stitches in total, okay? Round 24, chain 1, turn your work around and make 1 single crochet per stitches in the back loop only all the way to the end. I am here in the end making 1 single crochet in the last stitch. So round 24, we have a total of 23 stitches in total. Round 25, chain 1, turn your work around and right now we are going to decrease again here make 10 single crochet in the next 10 stitches okay one so you also have to balance all the time two three four five six seven eight nine and ten and this time we're going to decrease but make sure you always have the same number of stitches here to match the other side okay let's count one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten i have here three stitches left in the middle which is we're going to decrease so insert your work in the next stitch in the back loop only yarn over and pull do the same in the next two stitches yarn over and pull yarn over and pull four loops in the hook yarn over and pull through all that loops in the hook and make 10 single crochet in the next 10 stitches to match the other side and this is how it look like we have here a total of 21 stitches for our round 25 okay chain one turn your work around this is our round 26 making one single crochet per stitches in the back loop only so we are going to alternate this all the time, decrease and one single crochet per stitches, decrease one single crochet per stitches. I am in the end of round 26, making one single crochet in the end. So we have here a total of 21 stitches in total. Okay. Round 27, we're going to decrease again, chain one. Turn your work around and make nine single crochet in the next nine stitches. One, two, three. So now we are going to decrease, making three stitches into one stitch, like this. Insert your hook, yarn over and pull. Insert your hook in the next stitch, yarn over and pull. Insert your hook in the next stitch, yarn over and pull. Four loops in the hook. Yarn over and pull through all that loops in the hook, making three stitches into one stitch. And now we are going to make nine single crochet in the next nine stitches. For round 27. So here we have a total of 19 stitches. Chain one, turn your work around, and make nine single crochet in the next nine stitches. Chain one, turn your work around, and make nine single crochet in the next nine stitches. Chain one, turn your work around, and make nine single crochet in the next nine stitches. Chain one, turn your work around, and make nine single crochet in the next nine Turn your work around and make one single crochet per stitches until the end. We are here in the end of round 28, making one single crochet for the last time. And this is how it looks like. Round 29, 
round 29, chain 1, turn your work around, and this time we're going to decrease, okay? Make 8 single crochet in the next 8 stitches. 1, 2, 3, and now make a decrease. 3 stitches into 1 stitch, 1, 2, and 3. 4 loops in the hook, yarn over and pull through all the loops. Make 8 single crochet in the next 8 stitches to match the other side. So you always have to count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, And last one, 8. Chain 1, turn your work around and make 1 single crochet per stitches all the way down in the back loop only. Likewise. Do that all the way to the end for our round 30. And here I am in the end of round 30 and make one single crochet in the end. So I have here a total of 17 stitches. Round 31, chain 1, turn your work around and this time we are going to decrease. Okay, so let's count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. The other side, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So 3 stitches left in the middle. And there we're going to decrease. So we confirm we are going to make 7 single crochet in the next 7 stitches. To match the other side, we have to count also that we have the same number. 1, 2, 3, 4. 5, 6, and 7. Okay, and then decrease. Insert your hook in the next stitch, yarn over and pull. Insert your hook in the next stitch, yarn over and pull. Insert your hook in the next stitch, yarn over and pull. 4 loops in the hook, yarn over and pull through all the loops. And then 7 single crochet in the next 7 stitches to match the other side. Three, four, five, six, and last one, seven. Chain one, turn your work around, and we are going to make one single crochet per stitches, a total of 15 stitches in the end. And we are now in round 32, okay? Round 32, make one single crochet per stitches. We are not decreasing here. And this is how it looks like. Now round 33, we are going to decrease chain 1, turn your work around, and decrease. So this time we are going to make 6 single crochet in the next 6 stitches, okay? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. And then in the next 3 stitches, we're going to make into 1 stitch. Insert your hook, yarn over and pull. Insert your hook, yarn over and pull. Insert your hook in the next stitch, yarn over and pull. 4 loops in the hook, likewise, yarn over and pull through all the loops for our decrease. And again, 6 single crochet in the next 6 stitches to match the other side. Always the same, to have an even result. And here I am in my last stitch. Round 34, chain 1, turn your work around, and we are going to make 1 single crochet per stitches. 1, 2, 3, so round 33 and round 34, we have a total of 13 stitches. I'm going to repeat that one more time, chain 1, turn your work around, and make 1 single crochet per stitches. 1, Two, all the way to the end and here I am in my last stitch making one single crochet right there in the end for our round 35 and this is how it look like your work should not look like this so now we are going to make the shell stitches around the face mask here to begin we are going to chain one in the last stitch here where we end our last single crochet in 35 round we're going to insert our hook right there this one and make one single crochet 
So by counting our stitches, I'm going to count by rows, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and so on and so forth. So in the next round, I'm going to make five double crochet, which is here. I'm just going to place it here like this. Yarn over and pull three loops in the hook. Yarn over and pull through two loops only. Two loops left in the hook. Yarn over and pull through two loops again. I'm going to repeat that four more times in the same stitch. Yarn over, insert your hook in the same stitch or in the same round. Yarn over and pull. Yarn over and pull through two loops. Yarn over and pull through two loops. That is double crochet. That's two, that's three. Yarn over, insert your hook in the same stitch. Yarn over and pull, yarn over, pull through two loops. Yarn over, pull through two loops. One more time, yarn over, insert your hook in the same stitch. Yarn over, pull, three loops in the hook. Yarn over, pull through two loops. Yarn over, pull through two loops. So let's count our double crochet. One, two, three, four, five. So we have here five double crochet in one stitch. Skip two stitches. One, two, and three. In the third stitch, insert your hook, yarn over and pull, and one single crochet right there. And this is how it looked like for our first shell stitch. And now in the next stitch, or in the next round, which is this one, I'm going to place five double crochet again. Five double crochet right there in that stitch alone. So this is a shell stitch making five double crochet in one stitch or you can make it also six double crochet in one stitch but for me I prefer to make only five double crochet in one stitch. So make sure to count one two three four five. Now I'm going to skip two stitches one, two, and in the third stitch, insert your hook. Yarn over and pull. Make one single crochet. And I'm just going to repeat that all the way. And I'm going to meet you once we are here in the end. And here I am in the end. Skip two stitches. One, two, and in the third round, I'm going to insert my hook and place one single crochet right there. So here I have one last round left. I'm going to place one single crochet right there because I want to end with one single crochet in the end. And this is how your work look like. So now we are going to make the handle. Chain 27. One, two, three. So I have here a chain of 27 and I'm going to make, I'm going to insert my hook here. Yarn over and pull and yarn over and pull making one single crochet. In the next stitch, which is the next round here, I'm going to place five double crochet. Five double crochet right there. Two, three, four, and last one, five. Skip two stitches or two rounds and in the next row place one single crochet and in the next row place five double crochet and repeat that pattern all the way to the end and here I am in the end, I'm going to make one last shell stitch. Okay. One, two, three, four, and five. And here in our last row, we're going to place one single crochet right there. I'm going to chain 27 for our ear handle. So here I have a chain of 27 and now I'm going to make 
a slip stitch on the top of the single crochet we made here yarn over and pull yarn over and pull through in that loop in the hook chain one pull tight and this time you can cut the yarn now make a few knots to secure the remaining stitch insert your hook right here just anywhere you like near this one for me i like to make this in a half so it's easier for me to make this knot like this yarn over and pull and make a few knots one two Last one, I'm going to insert my hook here, yarn over and pull, and a few knots again. One, two, and last one, three. So this one, I want to make it in one, and I'm going to place my hook in a row here to grab that, yarn over and pull, and just hide it here. Another one, insert your hook another stitch next to that, next to that, yarn over and pull. So I will just hide this one basically. Once you're satisfied, cut the yarn. 